Hey guys, it's your girl Onana and I welcome you all to Onana Nation. So if it is your first time on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe because you will definitely love it here. On this channel, we talk all things entertainment, we talk about African recipes and we do lifestyle. So please go ahead and subscribe as we dive into today's topic. Okay, so today we're actually going to be talking about two topics. We're going to be talking about Jose. Quel genre de diplôme tu veux avoir? Oh, bébé. I know I cannot sing to save my life, but we're going to talk about Jose, point number one. Jose had a concert in um, Central Africa, and her concert was annulled, guys. You know what it means for an artist to leave her home country? In the middle of a pandemic, she has a little baby. She had to leave the baby at home enter her flight everything and go to Saint traffic only for them to cancel the concert without letting her know so she went to the hotel room she was all dolled up she did her makeup and all that waiting to go climb the stage only for her to receive a call uh sorry we cancelled your contract like what you guys had this long time to tell me when i was still in my country i've traveled all the way to come to your country i've booked a hotel i'm already here tonight and you guys are calling me like 15 minutes before my show that i can't perform really so she went to facebook she was apologizing like oh my fans i know things like this will happen and very soon i'll start hearing jose doesn't care about her fans no i'm i'm currently in Cote d'Ivoire. i'm currently in central africa i actually came for the show but the organizers of the show for some reason decided to cancel the show so it has nothing to do with me i'm sorry uh my fans apologize today i know you wanted to see me but nothing of my making so point number two we're going to talk about ambe mr rekete mr vitesse uh, mr happy new year uh-huh that ambe so ambe is currently receiving heat on social media because he has a brouhaha with a popular event organizer in yaoundé called awe mcval so this awe mcval is an event promoter he's a dj he's an mc he's all that he's done so many successful shows and he had a show coming up he was like okay i think i need ambe to perform in this show and you know artists don't book themselves they have managers they have pr personnel they have the whole team working for them so he was like i need ambe to be on my show but you have to reach ambe through somebody so he reached one of the members on ambe's team he was like can i get ambe to perform on this show and the person was like sure we can make that happen you just have to pay so so and so amount so they told him how much to pay and he paid so he paid money through ambe's team ambe was supposed to show up for his concert and perform ambe was supposed to perform for two concerts but ambe came for one of those concerts and perform the second concert it was time for the second concert and they never came so this guy was so disappointed you know an event organizer you've gathered people you've taken money from them and be the kami everybody will run and come like to watch and be he's a big deal people love him people want to hear from him people came there purposely to see and be he didn't come he didn't show up so you can imagine like the backfire the way the event backfired on this poor event organizer people were like calling him like you scam us, you're a scammer you took our money and they never came so the poor guy had to like refund money for some of these people or apologize to them you know when you're an event organizer people rely on your credibility if you say davido is coming people are coming to see davido if you say ambe is coming stanley you know people want to see stanley like, people want to see tizzy panchak so you cannot take money and tell people tizzy is coming he doesn't show up so it definitely messed up that guy's contract and he was he was so annoyed and he's been trying to reach and be like bro what's going on you didn't come for my second show or can you at least can we make up can we organize some other show for you to come or can you at least refund my money because the money in question is 98,000 francs CFA. So he has been trying to reach Ambe for two good years. This thing happened back in 2018. So Ambe was beating around the bush like, guy, I didn't collect money from you. I don't know you. And it's just funny because when I hear this story, Ambe is like, I didn't collect money from you physically. And it's true. Ambe did not collect money from him. Ambe's team collected money from him. So there's one guy called Young K Promotes. He's the one who got money from um, MC McVal to give um, Ambe to come perform during the show. So if you are saying that you didn't collect no money from him why do you come for the first show why do you attend the first show you actually came and be you came and sang for the first show now you're beating your chest i didn't collect money for you so why did you come and sing on the first show because you were booked because your team gave you money so you didn't come for the second show means you didn't honor the contract your team could be the reason to blame here maybe they didn't tell you that you were booked for two days instead of one but that's something for you to sort out with your team this is where professionalism comes in for you to apologize to the mc uh, mcval like oh i'm sorry i was only told i had to come for one one day 
I'm sorry I didn't come the second day, but that's because I didn't know. Probably there's an issue. There were lapses in communication. They didn't tell me I had to come for two days instead of one. You know, we can make this work. You know, we can fix this. That's what you do as an artist. You're trying to show that you're credible. You're trying to show that people can trust you. There was a way Ambe could have handled this with professionalism. He could have solved this, so, but our brother did not want that. So he went and immediately this guy was calling him for two years. Ambe my money, Ambe my money, Ambe my 98k, Ambe my money. Ambe was blocking the guy and deleting his messages and threatening the guy and all kinds of stuff. So the MC Magba was frustrated, like, see me trouble, oh. I did you hungry, they don't bring some person, oh, my 98K. So he was like, see me, oh, when the midst of a pandemic, things are hard. Everybody needs money. And Ambe owes me 98K. I got to get my money. So he called Ambe, called Ambe, Ambe did not pick. Sent Ambe messages, Ambe ignored him, minimized him. You know, what can this guy do to me? He's a broke guy, and I wonder what can he do to me after all, I'm, I'm Ambe. So the guy now was like, you know what? I think I should take this to social media, because I have seen firsthand the power of social media. So many people shake when you take their name to social media because you know what the public is going to get involved and the power of public opinion people are scared of that so the guy was like i should really take this to facebook so he took to his facebook page and uploaded and they owes me 98k for a show since two years back i've been texting i've been calling and they have been ignoring me and i need my money i'm broke right now i could use that money to do so many things i could use the money to organize another show i can use the money invested to make more money i'm an mc i'm an event promoter there's so many things i can use 98k for so the guy was like, Ambe, pay my money, Ambe, you owe me. And this is how Ambe reacts. Typical Cabernet style, I have connection. Tu me connais, tu connais la gens que je connais, mon oncle, c'est this, this. So Ambe reacted typical Cabernet style. He just called his friends like, hey, you guys should come and pick this guy up. Oh. He called police officers, they came and arrested this guy. Arbitrary arrest, no, arra no convocation, no warrant of arrest, nothing. They just picked this guy up in a very stupid way. They took him to the... um prison or wherever they kept him for a few hours threatening him making him sign some kind of documents i won't talk about ambe i won't this i won't that and then they released him can you imagine cameroon people don't have respect for laws so they locked the guy up and why he was in jail first of all why did they lock him up in semi a particular branch of the army where they lock police officers if you're a police officer you haven't gone to work or you're, you're taking bribery and corruption and all that that's where they lock you up so they lock the guy up in a jail that's meant for police officers violation number one so the Cameroonian government should get into this matter abuse of power whoever locked and be um, um away mcval up you locked him up in the wrong place point number one point number two arbitrary arrest you didn't give him no convocation no arrest one one you didn't read no rights to him you didn't even tell him like you can call a lawyer blah 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 nothing you just picked him up in a very random way took him to jail intimidated him questioned him in a dark room intimidated him made him to sign all kinds of documents like he didn't even read he didn't even get a chance to understand what he was signing he was threatened so this guy now is locked in a jail which is meant to lock um military officers and he is there panicking like papa Godo, what have i done what have i done i'm just a small guy from yaoundi hustling you know trying to make ends meet now i'm getting locked what am i going to do so as they were threatening him he was just accepting all the conditions okay i will not attack and be again it's true i apologize i'm sorry so the poor guy they gave him all kinds of conditions we're going to release you but when we release you you have to apologize to ambe publicly because this started on facebook it has to end on facebook so they threatened the guy like go to facebook go and write a public apology to ambe so the guy came out of jail he went to um to facebook and wrote i'm sorry for any damages must have caused you know i paid 98k to get ambe on my show a few years back but i paid through somebody else so really the money did not get into ambe's hands but i wanted ambe to be the bigger picture here it is true you did not receive the money you are not your own promoter you are not your own manager you normally don't receive money for shows but if somebody receives money on your behalf then you have to show up or you have to at least apologize okay this money did not come in my hands i'm sorry or i didn't even know i was supposed to come perform for two days because i actually performed for one day so how do you know you were supposed to perform in the first place? That's because your team member told you you were expected here, you showed up. And now they're telling you, okay, Ambe, you actually have to come for two days. A bigger part would have been like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know I was actually expected there for two days. I'm sorry. I guess we can make this work. We can fix this. Hey, you're my brother. We can fix this. That's what Ambe was supposed to do. Be, be the bigger picture. But eh, eh, Cameroon, everybody wants to show you the moves close. You connect the me connect, me connect. So he went directly to lock this poor boy up. And why the guy was being locked up, he was being threatened and all kinds of stuff. His friends went to jail there to go and see him. They told him, you can't see him right now. That's when they were threatening him. His friends were also like, no, we want to see our friend. They're like, sorry, you can't. So you can really imagine what Ambe must have told these officers. Shake him, maple look at Clem Bear. Shake him, shake him, shake him, make him to be scared. And that's how they were threatening the poor guy. He came out here. 
and he gave a fake apology you know what after the apology the social media people came under the post and they lock you up because you owe him money and they lock you up because he owe you money and they decrease so the guy now was like hey people are actually supporting me i'm actually winning the court of public opinion people are so here for me oh my god i'm holding my camera on my hand my hand hurts i have to keep switching <laughs> So the guy was like, what? I'm actually winning the court of public opinion. People are here for me. People are supporting me. So the guy now took the courage, Lofo Kourash. He was like, you know what? Fuck it. This apology I gave earlier, it doesn't hold anymore. I'm still going to talk. So he went live. He made a long video. That video is like an hour. So he was telling people like, this is what actually happened between me and Ambi. Ambi owes me money because I paid money through his team members. And he was supposed to show two nights for my show. He came on one of those nights. He didn't come the second night. And a lot of my fans were disappointed. A lot of people lost faith in me so i'm being now uh, the guy is telling us the whole story how it happens and he's like i've been texting and i've been calling and this wonder they're making you people to see that i'm a mean guy i want to bring and that i want to this i want to that i have nothing against and he's still my brother matter of fact we are neighbors in the village i have nothing against and he owes my money that's all i want i want my money so i'm definitely interested to see where this case goes because this guy has signed an undertaking that he's not going to attack and be he's going to apologize publicly and all that but he came to social media and obviously social media gave him horns and he's out here today making live videos attacking and again explaining the story which he has signed not to explain so i want to see how this case goes i want to see if he gets a lawyer you know what um, our magva you should get a lawyer First of all, you should ask Ambi to pay you damages. You are an event promoter. Your credibility matters. People trust your word. So you made that show saying that Ambi was going to come. Ambi did not come. You paid money. Find your receipt. Where did you pay the money? Get all the receipts. Whether it was an express, you know, on West Union transaction or whatever, cash up, um, how did they call it? Momo. Whether it was a Momo transaction, you get all your receipts. Find a lawyer. Give it to the lawyer. Like, point number one, this guy took money, was going to come to my show. He came on one night. He didn't come the second night. Point number two, I wanted to open my mouth. They locked me up. Arbitrary arrest took me to a military place where i was not supposed to be there my friends no were not allowed to see me i was not allowed to talk to a lawyer first of all they captured me in a very unconventional way it was not in a police car they abducted me they kidnapped me so get a lawyer and build a solid case and make and be paid you can also do that or you can choose to go amicable you can be like okay this is my brother you know what i don't like trouble wahala no fine leave matter to matthias <laughs> So you can be like, Ambe is my brother. Well, I don't want, I don't want trouble. We can settle this amicably. All I want is my ninety-eight thousand and maybe a few money more for like damages. Let Ambe give like one fifty k or two hundred k, and then you guys settle this. So my thing is, Ambe, you are the bigger picture here. Just be the bigger person. You're making all this money. What's ninety-eight k to you? You can just call this guy and be like, you know, my brother, I reacted to this case. I initially reacted to this case wrongly, and I now realize in hindsight where my mistakes are. I am sorry. I apologize. I didn't know I was invited to attend two shows. I attended one, and I'm sorry I've been ignoring you all these years. Like I understand it can really be painful when you're trying to reach somebody and they keep ignoring you. I'm sorry, and I'm particularly sorry of the way I attacked this issue. I immediately call people to lock you up i apologize for that so here is your 98k i don't want to hear my name again i don't want you dragging my name through the streets of social media i'm an artist i have a reputation i, I don't want any of that headache because right now people are insulting and they're on social media even small little kids of yesterday were 15 16 with smartphones in their hands they are talking rubbish to you grand fray why because you gave them the avenue to insult you so be the bigger picture solve this it's not good okay now your name is going out there and people are getting to know you people are discovering you all for the wrong reasons like you shouldn't do that we should respect you for your art for your crafts for the beautiful songs you've been singing you know happy new year happy new year bon année, bon année. i'm going to be dancing that song again very soon on the 31st of december i love the song so much so and be we don't want any trouble we don't want any drama so settle this be the bigger picture bro you can do this all right so on that note i guess we've come to the end of today's video and i remain your girl onana if it is your first time on this channel please go ahead and subscribe you will definitely love it here on this channel we talk all things entertainment we talk about african recipes and we do a lifestyle so subscribe doesn't hurt see you guys next time goodbye